Fencing has taken Anna Van Brumen around the world. Now the 26 year old who works for a Santa Barbara company will compete for Team USA at the Olympics. Anna Van Brumen is headed to her first Olympic Games. It feels amazing. She has been fencing since she was eight years old and Van Brumen was crushed when she failed to qualify for the 2016 Olympics. Immediately after not making the games, I thought, oh, that's it for me. I'm not going to fence anymore. It's too much. And then I took a step back and I took a break and I realized that it's not fencing I didn't want to do anymore. I just didn't want to put that insane amount of pressure on myself, and I still wanted to fence because I loved it. Right after her worst year of competition, she became the only modern U.S. women's FA fencer to win a World Cup title. She followed that up with an individual NCAA FA championship in 2017, the first female fencer in Princeton history to achieve that feat. Now 26 years old, she is a replacement athlete for the Olympic Games, meaning she will compete on Team USA, but not individually. The girls that I'm going to fence on a team with are fantastic. After earning her master's in earth sciences, the Houston native traveled to Santa Barbara with her boyfriend, and she took an environmental consultant job with the company Blue Tomorrow. She trains locally at Presidio Fencing and also as a coach in Los Angeles. In Santa Barbara, there's so many opportunities to go hiking and swimming on the beach and just all kinds of stuff. So I kind of can't think of a better place to have spent the past year. Now she is planning on bringing back an Olympic medal to Santa Barbara. There's a very good chance that we can come home with a medal, and that's what we are aiming for, for sure. Oh, good touch. In case you're wondering, the entire body is a valid target area in Epe fencing, and that is one major difference compared to foil and saber fencing. The opening ceremony for the Tokyo Games is on Friday.